In this video I'll show you how to use Fire and Dash's Photoshop action. So what I'll be actually doing here is I'm going to use this photo here as an example uh, for a demonstration. And uh, this is the effect that I'm going to create. Okay, so as you can see the action creates this uh, great fire effect and uh, you got ashes there, you got a smoke. Uh, okay, there are a lot of amber particles, uh, ashes particles. Also you'll see that um, uh, there are uh, burning cracks, okay, so over the over the burned area there's actually uh, a brushed area, okay, uh, and a lot more stuff, so uh, I got a few four examples uh, that, that they made using this action, so from this photo uh, I have just brushed over here, uh, I have choose the right direction, okay, you can choose from right, left, up and down directions, and this is the after effect, okay, okay, here he brushed like this and also choose the right direction. Uh, here I use the uh, down direction. Okay. Uh, also, what you can do is that you can uh, uh, very easily remove the fire and leave only the ashes and colorize them with just a few clicks, and you can uh, then get uh, ashes dispersion effect. Okay. So I'm going to show you that later. And here, as you can see, I have changed the colors. So not only the fire color, you can see that the the, the whole image actually has a, uh, has a different uh, tint. Okay. And here, if you use the uh, upper up direction. Okay. And the last one. Okay, so I will close these windows now. So uh, there are a couple of things that you need to check before you uh, brush over your photo and play the action. Uh, so you just need to uh, do a few steps to make sure that the action will run without uh, any error. Okay, so when you when you open your photo, first thing that you need to check is that your photo is a, is a background layer. Okay, so it must be called a background and have this uh, lock icon. Okay, so if you got something like this or uh, something other okay so just go to layer new and just choose a background from layer okay and this step will make your photo background layer also uh, check the image mode it should be rgb color mode 8-bit canon okay uh, also what you need to check is to just click on this little arrow here and just go to panel options and, uh, and here you, you should have uh, checked this option here uh, add copy to copied layers and groups okay uh, also, you should check the image size, and uh, you should avoid uh, uh, using too small resolution images. Okay, so for the best results, uh, use a, a, a larger images. Okay, so this is uh, uh, pretty much large. I'm going to use a little bit uh, smaller image. So I'm just going to use uh, 2000 here. Okay, and uh, resolution can be 372 pixels as well. Okay, uh, but when you have a 72 pixels. Uh, the the fire effect and dispersion effect uh, will have uh, a smaller uh, width. Okay, so when you got 300 resolution, then the effects go uh, much uh, wider. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use 300 here, and for the case if you have 72 here, you can just change it to 300. Uh, you will see that your uh, height and width will be increased. So you just adjust them uh, later uh, after that. Okay. So I'm going to use this image size and click OK. Okay, so uh, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to expand the canvas. Okay, so I want to use the uh, the right direction here, so I need more space here. And I'm just going to go to image canvas size, and I'm going to click here, so I got only uh, so I get the canvas expanded only on the right side, and change this to pixels. And just mark the relative option and just type the number here. Let's choose like this. Okay, so when I'm going to use a, a selection tool, so just to make a background here and just press uh, Ctrl C for PC or Command 
uh, C for Mac and Control V. Okay, and so now just I will move this over here. Okay, so I got a background there, and uh, can maybe apply a little bit of blur. Uh, you can also use uh, uh, fill. Okay, you can also make a selection and just go to fill and choose content aware. Okay, so uh, now just uh, if you're uh, expanding canvas and adding a background, you must uh, merge these two layers. Okay, so just click right click and go to merge layers. So there must be a single layer called the background. You you may not have a, a background consisted of a few layers. So now just go to layer new and uh, choose a, a layer uh, in Amid brush and all items must be lowercase otherwise the action won't work so this is very important. Click OK and just going to take a brush tool choose any color. Color is not important. Okay so just choose some color so you can easily uh, clearly see what you have brushed and use this uh, soft round brush and let's brush so I'm going to brush a little bit over here or here Or here, just like this. You don't have to be uh, too precise here, okay. So that's it. And uh, now we are going to uh, load the brushes. So you need the brushes to uh, use this action. So just uh, take a brush tool and click right click here and uh, just go to load brushes. And just choose the fire and dashes brushes that came with the load. Okay, click load. You'll see your brushes there. And uh, now just go to window actions and uh, you can just click on this little arrow here uh, get the drop down menu, choose the load actions and just choose the fire dash uh, action that came with download okay. so here it is, as you can see you got the, the uh, four directions as I said, right, left, up and down so I'm going to use the right direction here so now uh, I'm going to play the action and pause the video here so I uh, actually need uh, about a few minutes to complete uh, it depends on your image size, okay? Uh, so you can a little bit fasten the process if you minimize the Photoshop. So I will pause the video here and I will come back when the action is finished to show you uh, how to customize the effect so you can get most out of the effect, okay? Okay, so the action has just stopped, so first I will close the actions panel. And when the action is finished, you will see that the group uh, fire will be selected. And first, we are going to do is uh, we are going to collapse all these folders. So uh, on that way, it will be a lot more easier to work uh, uh, with the effect. Okay. So as you can see, there are really a lot of layers. So how to quickly do that is to just hold Control Alt button for PC or uh, Command Option for Mac, and just click on this little arrow here. Okay, like this, and you'll see that the all groups will be closed. So first, uh, I'm just going to show you uh, a quick view uh, of the all layers and stuff. So and then I'm going to show you, uh, and then I'm going to customize the effect. Okay. So let's just see quickly what we got here. Uh, these are the adjustments, and uh, what we got there is a brush layer. Okay. So the brush layer, uh, every time you run the action, you will get a unique result, even if you use the same brush area. Okay. So if you just drag this layer above there and remove these three all other layers you can play the action again and you will get uh, a unique result so uh, the fire, the ashes, the smoke 
and all other stuff uh, will have a, uh, a slightly different form each time you run the action. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the brushes off. Uh, as you can see, we got you can uh, cast, uh, you can uh, edit the sharpen, brightness, saturation. You get a contrast, photo tint, fire color. Okay, and here we got the two groups. We got the fire, and we got the ashes. Okay, so you can control the fire contrast. I got this layer says increase heat level. Okay, and as you cre increase its opacity, you're increasing actually the the fire heat. Uh, uh, okay, and uh, get some extras here, uh, like uh, cracks and uh, uh, edges glow, particles, okay, and we got the small there, and here we got the ashes, you got the particle forms, you got the particles, motion waves, and you got the 10 color options to choose from, you can also add vignette here, okay, so now let's customize the effect. Uh, so first, uh, let's see the adjustments. Uh, this is the uh, the sharpen layer. So uh, you can just click over here and drag into the side, and you will change the the sharpen. Okay, sharpen level. So let's do something like this. Uh, what we got here are the overall brightness, and when you double click over here. You can move these three cursors to adjust the brightness. Okay, just like that. And I'm just going to uh, to change this a little bit. Okay, this is the saturation, and I double click here. You can change the saturation of your photo. Okay, you can even desaturate it and make a black and white effect, or increase the saturation a lot. Okay, so let's do something like this. Uh, here we got the two contrast layers, and uh, how these layers actually work is you just change the area opacity and control the contrast in that way. As you can see, uh, you have to be very sensitive with this here. Okay, otherwise you can see the, the results. Okay, so I'm just going to increase this a little bit. And you can see the differences. And here we got a photo tint, and when you double click here, you can change the density. Uh, you got a warming filter here. Okay, so just use, uh, use something like this. And you can also uh, uh, change and uh, take some other filter, and that uh, is what I usually do uh, when I change the fire color. Okay, so if you change fire color, something like blue, uh, then I usually uh, use a cooling filter. Okay. So just now I'm going to use this one here, and here we got a fire color. And how this layer works actually is if you want to change the fire color, you just need to create a clipping mask here, and uh, the fire will change a little bit appearance. Uh, and you just double click here and just change the hue value. Okay, so you can uh, change the color. Any other color just in seconds, okay. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to use the original color, and so I'm going to release the layer mask. And let's see what we got here is the, the fire group and the ashes group. So, actually, uh, uh, first I will customize the fire group. So we got the uh, two more contrast layers here, and uh, but these layers are affecting the fire, as you can see, and uh, you can uh, play with their opacities. These already have 100, so you can lower it if you like, uh, uh, and you can change the opacity of this one here. Okay. So let's see what we got next. Uh, we got the increased heat level, and as you can see, as you increase the opacity of this layer. Uh, the fire is being heated uh, more and more, okay. Yeah, okay, so just going to use something like this, okay. And when you open the fire group, uh, you'll see that the fire is uh, layered, okay. And some of the fire layers have a brightness layers, so you can just double click there and you can change 
uh, the brightness of the fire. Okay, so sorry. Um, I'm just going to use the brightness layers uh, as they are by default. And also, if you want to change the brightness of some of these layers, you can simply duplicate this layer and just drag it above and create a clipping mask, and then uh, change the brightness uh, as you like. Okay. So. Uh, you can also turn off some of the layers, okay, so it depends uh, on the effect that, uh, that you like. Okay, you also see uh, that the, there are some layer masks here, and if I turn this layer mask, you will see uh, there will be more fire, so you can easily, uh, if you want more fire, just turn off uh, these layer masks, okay. Also, uh, what you can do is you can remove any fire here by selecting uh, the this layer mask here okay so this is the main layer mask and if you just brush uh, with a black color into it you will just you'll start removing the fire okay uh, and uh, what uh, what they do when I remove the fire is actually uh, don't use these brushes okay just use uh, some of the smoke brushes that uh, that came in down loud okay just lower their size and and just remove the fire with that uh, brushes, okay? Because it will look uh, much better. Uh, because if you if you use the uh, round brushes like this, you can see the result. It will be uh, very. Uh, it will look. Uh, it will be visible that you have uh, you are removing the fire, okay? And uh, when you remove the fire uh, using the smoke brushes that's not visible okay okay uh, so and uh, what you uh, also usually do is just lower the opacity of the mask like this and then i just brush where i want to remove the fire okay so i'm just going to uh, i will not remove the fire now just i'm going to leave it i'm just going to leave it like that okay uh, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to create a little bit more fire. So just to make a new layer here a, under the fire group and just choose some orange color and choose some of the fire brushes and you can just change the opacity to 100 and you can just add a little bit more fire uh, where you like and change its color mode to screen. Okay. Just like that, you can then go to adjustments, hue saturation, and just change the, the color. Okay, by changing the hue value. Let's do something like this. And what you can also do, uh, as you add more smoke in the background, the fire will be more visible. Okay, so you can also make fire from a few layers can use also, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you can also use yellow and red colors for creating the fire. So just change the mode uh, to screen and uh, it's the best to go to hue saturation and then change the hue value so to see which one uh, hue value goes the best here. Okay, so just going to leave this layer and um, okay, so there's the fire effect as you can see and here we got the extras and when you open the folder you will see there the cracks layers if I turn them off okay you'll see the difference so uh, these layers uh, are actually burning cracks that are appearing on the places where you have brushed okay so uh, this is the brushed area as you can see and you, uh, you clearly see the, the cracks and I'm going to select the both of these layers and just click here and drag into the left side lower their opacity something like this okay uh, you get also the small edge glow here okay so it covers the the edges of your uh, brushed area and then going to lower its opacity also okay something like this uh, here we got the ember particles okay uh, you can create easy more particles by grabbing them from the ashes folder and I'm going to show that when I 
come to ashes folder okay so uh, before that you got the uh, layer called reveal burned area and it's actually revealing a little bit more of your uh, brushed area okay so and what you can also do is to hold the alt, alt button for pc or option for mac and just uh, drag this little uh, this layer over here okay and i usually change this color mode to overlay okay and now just lower its opacity so in that way you will uh, get your uh, brushed area a little bit more visible okay as you can see and, uh, and here we got a smoke so if I remove the smoke you will see that the fire will be much less visible okay so just turn it on and uh, so when you want to remove some fire, uh, as I said, just choose the smoke brushes and lower the opacity and brush, for example, let's brush, uh, uh, make sure that the foreground color is black and just brush like this, okay, for example, over there. And then you can also select the smoke layer mask and brush there as well, okay. So let's remove the fire here, for example. So I can uh, remove the smoke and immediately the, the fire will be less visible there. And then just take a fire. So you can actually remove uh, the fire in that way and smoke and so you can control uh, the fire look. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it again with a white color. So I remove the actually reset the layer mask. Uh, you can also uh, change the opacities uh, of these smoke layers and control the uh, the power density then way. Okay, like this. Okay, and also if you wish to create more fire, for example, over here, what you can do is to make a new layer, take a black color, and I'm just going to use a 50% uh, brush opacity here as the smoke needs to have a less opacity here than here okay and just grab this layer uh, I'm sorry th this uh, this brush and you can just brush you see as I'm brushing the fire becoming more visible okay so you can just create smoke like this and then you can go back to the fire folder and make a new layer uh, pick some fire brush and just choose some some color like this oops sorry uh, I forgot to change the opacity of brush to 100 okay so I change it to screen I'll make another layer choose the fire again with the fire brush with a little bit different color brush again okay change it to screen uh, I can merge these two layers change it color mode to screen and just go to hue saturation again and just change the hue value to create better look like this uh, you can go back again to the smoke to the smoke group and brush with the smoke okay like this let's just let's just make a, a little bit smoke less visible there okay so as you can see you can easily create more fire uh, on any place you like okay uh, it's the same with the smoke so let's just change uh, this a little bit uh, more uh, I need to change the saturation over here a little bit. Okay, that's great. And uh, now let's see uh, what we got under the ashes group. So if I remove the ashes, also you will see uh, some change, uh, a lot of changes in the photo. So we got to add more detail layer. 
and uh, creating the more details uh, uh, for the ashes you can change its opacity okay here and here we have the particle forms and when you open the the group you will see the these are actually the uh, the particle forms there that have the layer masks and if you remove any of the uh, their layer masks you will see that there will be more particles visible okay as you can see and what you can also do you can just take a brush tool and uh, select the layer mask and just brush with a white color and if there are particles in that places they will be uh, visible okay so just make sure that the brush opacity is 100 okay so uh, here we got the uh, particles we got the small particles you got the medium particles large particles and you got the large blurred particles okay they are all layered so you can easily remove them by turning off the layer uh, you can even duplicate them okay you can duplicate uh, a lot of layers like this and you just when you move them you, you see that you created uh, a more particles okay uh, just in seconds it's the same with the particle forms okay so uh, let me just uh, get this mask here okay um, you can just duplicate some of these layers uh, and oh, sorry and take a move tool and you can create uh, more particle forms okay so that were the particle forms and the particle groups and we got the motion waves and I will just turn off this group so you can better see uh, motion waves okay so you, you can see what uh, you can clearly see that layer and it's a layered okay so you can just uh, you got the layer mask here, so if you want to remove the motion waves, you simply click here and remove the layer mask. Okay. Uh, and uh, what we got here are the color options, and uh, all you have to do is to just, uh, if you don't want this color option, just turn it off, select any layer, turn it on, and see how it looks. If you don't like it, simply uh, try with another, and I'm sure you find the one that you like the most. So I'm going to use uh, this color option here. Okay, you can also combine a few of them like this. You can just, uh, for example, lower its opacity, something like that, and then turn this color option and lower its opacity also. Okay, and uh, these color options are affecting only your uh, your photo. Uh, they're not uh, they're not affecting uh, the fire. Okay and uh, we got the vignette effect here okay so as you can see what it does and what you can also do is select this layer mask and just click a right click go to refine mask and you can just uh, shift the edges and you can change its look okay or you can shift it uh, it depends do you want to make this uh, this uh, uh, border thicker or thinner okay I'm going to make it like this just click OK that's it okay so uh, uh, I, I mentioned uh, creating uh, uh, more uh, more ember particles so you can just grab any of these and you can just hold the alt button for PC or option for Mac and drag the layer uh, up I'm going to remove the layer mask and just change its color mode to uh, linear dodge okay and you will have more ember particles you can play with their opacity as well okay and uh, uh, what you can also do uh, is the uh, uh, also I forgot to mention that uh, if you remove some fire or create more fire you can just remove this layer and just make it again okay uh, and um, so because of these as you can see this layer if I move it, it he's got the lines that are giving the sharpen effect so if you change something to a photo you need to make a new layer so you can uh, uh, so uh, <coughs> you can apply the sharpen to 
affect the, your uh, customized image okay so you can uh, give a sharpen to the new fire that you have created or remove the sharpen from the fire that you have removed so just remove this layer and make a new layer go to image apply image and just go to filter uh, choose the high pa uh, other high pass and set radius to 2 and just change its color mode to hard light and uh, you can see and just lower the opacity okay control the the sharpen amount by uh, changing the opacity of this layer okay yeah you can also using this uh, cursor there so that's it and uh, also what you can uh, do here is the uh, as I have mentioned when I was showing you the preview uh, when I was showing you the examples at the beginning of the video is to uh, create uh, another kind of effect and that is to you have to uh, turn off the fire effect go to ashes okay and just turn off this uh, color overlay option and this also here uh, open the particles, uh, remove all these uh, color overlay uh, styles to the layers and I usually just hold the shift button and click on this layer mask so you can uh, remove the layer mask okay and as you can see you can get the uh, you will actually get the ashes dispersion effect okay and you will now see there the lines uh, they are giving the sharpen to the fire so if you want to use uh, this effect and just you just have to make the sharpen layer again okay so because as I said on, uh, on this layer you still got the lines that are giving the sharpen to fire okay as you can see and uh, on this one you don't have that you don't have fires and don't have those lines and just change the opacity okay and uh, also you can also now duplicate the uh, any of these layers okay you can just increase this like this uh, you can remove this effect if you uh, want it you can change the color options again and uh, you can also go over here and remove the photo tint if you don't like or change it and or you can also change the brightness okay so uh, I hope you understood everything uh, but if you still need uh, any help you need any questions tips uh, you, you just feel free to contact me anytime uh, via my Envato profile page thanks for watching bye